और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग विच इज़ लाइक नेचुरल वंडर सो बेसिकली बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट वी ऑल नो दैट देर आर सेवन वंडर्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड बेसिकली दिस ऑल सेवन वंडर्स कम्स अंडर द ह्यूमन रेस इन द सेंस द ह्यूमन बिल्स इट सो बेसिकली दीज आर द वंडर्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड बट इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक समथिंग बी हाफ और वॉट इज ए समथिंग मोर देन द ह्यूमन रेस दैट इज द नेचुरल वंडर सो लाइक हैव यू कम अक्रॉस लाइक सम इंसेक्ट्स और मे बी सम फिशर्स और सम थिंग्स और सम इंसेक्ट्स और बैक्टीरिया वायरस विच कैन प्रोड्यूस और विच कैन एमिट कलर्स ड्यूरिंग नाइट सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दोज थिंग्स इन दिस वीडियो सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ दिस इंसेक्ट्स और एनिमल्स और मैराइन फिशर्स विच प्रोड्यूस और एमिट लाइट्स इज बेसिकली इन दिस बायोलोमिनेसेंस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस बायोलोमिनेसेंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज दिस बायोलोमिनेसेंस एंड वाई वाई दिस स्पीशियस आर प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस बायोलोमिनेसेंस सो बेसिकली बायोलोमिनेसेंस इज अप्लाई फॉर बोथ इन वर्पिटेट्स इन वर्टिब्रेट्स एंड वर्पिट वर्टिब्रेट्स सो इट एज ए नेम सच एस इट्स बेसिकली इट्स देर इन बैक्टीरिया वायरस फंगाई लाइक सम अक्वाटिक मेरेन फिशेस लाइक जेली फिश और स्क्विड्स और सम स्पेशल टाइप्स ऑफ शार्क्स एंड सो सो नेक्स्ट वी वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट वाई दी स्पीशियस आर एमिटिंग लाइट्स ड्यूरिंग द नाइट टाइम सो बेसिकली देर आर थ्री मेन रीजन फॉर इट द फर्स्ट वन इज बेसिकली द काउंटर कैमोफ्लाज सो कैमोफ्लाज इन देंस वेन आर स्पीशियस जस्ट जस्ट एंटर्स टू द सर्फेस और सम प्लेस इट जस्ट चेंजेस द कलर टू इट्स सराउंडिंग्स टू एस्केप फ्रॉम द प्रेडेटर्स और टू अटैक इट्स प्रे सो दिस इज बेसिकली द वन थिंग वेर द कैमोफ्लाज अपलाइज एंड इट जस्ट एम इट्स लाइट्स to attract the prey to come near it during the night time so that the prey thinks like it is a safer place for it so this happens in marine during under the surface of the water so where there is no light at all it will be like a dark thing in the underground of a marine uh, so during those times these fishes just produce light and the, the prey uh, just comes and sits there and it just enjoys a good dinner there so this is basically the one use of this bioluminescence so the next thing uh, which applies is for mating so mating is the reproductive so in this the basically the females which initiate the process so and uh, like during the dragon flies which basically emits lights uh, for uh, attracting the males for mating process so this is uh, the second use for this bioluminescence and the third thing is for the mimicry of animals so here the mimicry in the sense uh, and this applies in land so land in the sense there are some insects like dragon flies or and so which can produce bioluminescence bio so during those time uh, when a large insect is trying to catch its prey uh, it can't go directly and just attack its prey so during those time it just do a mimicry of its prey in the sense not in size or shape but in its characteristic behavior like uh, it just makes the prey to get more comfortable that uh, the predator is not affected basically from his own kind but of different size and shape so these are the three uses uh, where this bioluminescence plays a major role in all different types of species so next we are going to talk about the process which is involved in this bioluminescence so basically uh, this bioluminescence uh, is um, the key uh, component or like a molecule which is present in this uh, species is named as luciferin so the on a continuous process of oxidation of luciferin it just produces uh, or emit light so this uh, during this process there is an enzyme which is involved in this process so here the enzyme acts as like an catalyst so catalyst in the sense which this speeds up the reaction 
so in this so in this process is the speed of the oxidation process of lucifer so the enzyme which is used under this process is named as lucifer tears so uh, this is one of the way where the lights get emitted when there is a uh, when there is a good amount or supply of lucifer tears uh, next here to the second side if there is absence of lucifer tears then luciferin uh, that was the compound which is responsible for emission undergoes process with oxygen so here the oxygen may be from land or from air and uh, in addition to that uh it uses a small uh, like maybe like 1% or less than of calcium or magnesium ion under this process to do the oxidation process and gets this uh, luciferin to uh, emit or produce light so uh, during this cases there is a light energy there is an energy carrying molecule which is also involved in this process it is not in all the species it is basically in some uh, maybe like 11 phylums so uh, this compound is named as atp adreno triphosphate so uh, it is named here as an energy uh, component energy molecule so this is used at the evolving process so the atp is used in some uh, rare species where this uh, uh, reaction has to be initialized to initial sense to just start the process this ATP plays a vital role so this is basically about the process of this bioluminescence so next we are going to talk about the color and the new things which they found under this bioluminescence so the first thing is about the color so during bioluminescence uh, there is mostly either a blue or a green or an yellow color so during in ocean times like in marine water it is basically blue or green so whereas in land it is most probably like an yellowish a slight yellowish color so and in addition to that there are some species uh, like mainly as territorial uh, species territorial fishes uh, which produces slightish reddish color to just uh, initiate their anger sense so this is uh, like which is very very rare this red color so this is basically about the colors which is produced during the process of bioluminescence so next we are going to talk about the main thing which is happening around this bioluminescence is burglar alarm so uh, like what is the thing is uh, have you ever noticed like during the night time the ocean water will be slightly blue or in green in color so this is basically due to the process of bioluminescence so this slightish blue or green color is produced by a fungi named as nostulate or scintillate so uh, i'll just i'm just sorry about for the pronunciation so basically uh, that fungi uh, or in sometimes it is most commonly named as sea sparkle so uh, this fungi is basically responsible for producing blue color bluish or greenish color during the night time in the water so this process is initiated when the waves hit the shore or else whenever you throw a stone or some uh, materials which um, Touch, uh, which just touch this fungi so this is uh, this process is basically named as burglar alarm so this is the one main thing uh, which the scientist has like a good research and they have made it success so this is the one thing about the bioluminescence so next we are going to talk about the future technology of the researchers working under this bioluminescence so uh, basically in genetic engineering mm, this bioluminescence the researchers are working on and uh, they have uh, produced a plant a plant in which which can produce uh, which can emit or observe light so basically uh, there is no plants in this whole world which comes under bioluminescence in the sense there is no plant species which can emit light uh, so uh, in this thing the researchers have worked together to in genetic engineering by taking the genes uh, by uh, taking the bacteria which is responsible for producing the light and with the plant genes and when with the with uh, colliding both together they have produced a plant uh, which can produce light uh, at night so this is basically the future which the researchers have done and they have made a good success good success in that re research as well so this is basically about the bioluminescence so next like in the end i just want to make sure that 
uh, most probably only 75 percentage of marine species can, can produce bioluminescence so this is basically for attacking the prey or just uh, for the safety purposes so this is why the marine species plays a very useful role maybe angelfish or octopus squids squids are so important like nearly 90 percentage of the squids are bioluminescent so uh, dragonfish dragonflies and so so this is basically about the bioluminescence so hope so you like this video if you like it uh, just give it a thumbs up so make sure you stick to this channel mm, so like this for new technologies and new updates and everything we'll see you in the next video so till then peace from k square bye